everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Rachel. So today we are going to do the much anticipated review of the add-on sale for fall of 2020. I do these videos for pretty much every ad on an edit sale for FabFitFun. Not all their sales because they throw in some random sales just like they did a couple weeks ago, but I specifically do these sales. So um, I'll try to put a compilation down below if you guys ever want to can go back and look through. I've done a lot of different products and talked about a lot of different things and there's recurrent themes within these sales. So if you're ever curious, bored, you can go check those out. In the second video I will do, I will go over customization options and um, as always, uh, these are totally my opinion, my experience or what I've heard about these products. This is not a comprehensive video of every single little thing in the sale. There's just not enough time. Um, and so you may not always agree with what I say, but it's just my experiences with these brands, these products and things that I've used, mostly things that I've had some sort of interaction with. Um, as always, if you guys have a different experience, I'd like to hear below, but yeah, we'll get into it. So you guys will see me looking down on my phone a bunch because what I usually do is I look at my phone and then you'll see me pointing in this general direction. Sometimes I'll put pictures up, sometimes I have in-person examples to show you guys and that way we can go over it. I'm just gonna go, I went through this time um, and I put everything in a uh, saved, my favorite, so hopefully it'll work this time. Um, and then if I get around to it, which I usually do sometime later, I try to put timestamps below so those who just wanna skip to products they're interested in um, can skip to them. So we are going to start, and like I said, this is not in the greatest order. Let me see, let's do from their default order. Or how about, Let's do low to high price. We'll just change it up today. So we're gonna start from the least expensive to the most expensive products in here. And I've got a big old box behind me that you'll kind of see me rummaging. Um, obviously I edit these videos, but I'll be rummaging in this box to try to find some of the products to go over and talk to you guys about them. So we're gonna start off with the first thing, which is the Marrakesh Ash X. There's both the leave-in and the uh, oil. So Marrakesh, I've tried a lot of their brands. I have one bottle of the Marrakesh Ends, which has taken me a long time to go through. Um, this brand is really nice, uh, especially for the price. It's $5 in the sale. These uh, are normally about $18, uh, at least for the leave-in conditioner. And the Ends is, is kind of like a split end preventer, which works pretty good, but it is a very herbally, uh, incense -y smell. So for me, it's not my favorite smell in the world, but, um, yeah, so this is definitely a nice product and let me open it up and see size wise. So it, it's four ounces. So this is the size of the product you're going to get. I like to talk about the size expiration dates, things like that, so that you know what you're buying and you're not getting like confused or, or, you know, just kind of weird stuff. In here. Cause that's always a bummer is to, buy something, think it's bigger, and then get in there and, and not know what you're getting. Okay, I talk about this in every sale, but there's a slight variation on this product. Um, so I thought I would talk about it again. Um, you guys know I love Cocoa Floss. So I have a lot of it, I buy a lot of it. Um, I'm not gonna buy any of this particular, oh no, I take that back, I am gonna buy some of this sale. I'm starting to get low on some of mine, but I don't buy it every single sale. It seems like it's in the sale almost every single time. Some variation of it, different flavors. Um, Delicious Mint is in the sale, and I think the Coconut one is in the sale. Uh, but they're normally seven or nine dollars and in the sale they're five dollars. That has not changed much in this sale. Um, it is a very thick floss. I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys. It's just a thicker floss and it does a really good job of getting in there. The other thing that I really like is on the back they have this little thing that tells you kind of how long it lasts. Um, and depending on how heavily you use floss, depends on how heavily you go through it. In the sale though, they have a specific thing that's a little bit different I've never seen before from Coco Floss is they have a bundle that is one of their regular size one and a little travel size. And I thought that was neat for travel size, like it'd be nice to throw in my bag and take to work or, you know, when we do travel again. So I was considering getting that at some point. Um, but yes, highly, highly, highly recommend it if you are a floss aficionado. Um, let's move on to Earth Harbor. There are two different products in this sale. I don't have either one, but I do like this brand. This brand is a, uh, kind of an indie brand that does, uh, you know, paraben free, sulfate free. I think they're vegan and cruelty free. Yeah, they're vegan and cruelty free. I've gotten them in various 
boxes and I've gotten like eye cream and then I have this resurfacing night cream. Um, I've, you know, I haven't had a chance to get to use a lot of their products, but I kind of wanted to show you guys the size of one of their products and kind of what their general packaging looks like. So obviously this is the resurfacing cream. There is a uh, facial cream in there. So their bottle is going to be about that big. And then they have a beach ocean hair texturizer for $5, normally $12. It is two fluid ounces. This is the size of one fluid ounce. So you figure it's gonna be about double this size. So that is that product. All right, let's talk about Busy Beauty. There's a couple of things from Busy Beauty, but we'll talk first about the Busy Beauty uh, Charlotte's Shave Gel. This is in the sale for $5, which it, again, I think is what it has been in the past. Um, this is a no water shave gel. It does exactly what it's supposed to. I like to use it for touching up spots. Um, so if that is something that you are interested in, this is a really good product. I'm just gonna show you guys what the cream looks like. It literally is just a clear, clear cream on there and then you wipe it up when you're done shaving and it just leaves your skin hydrated and moisturized it is 3.4 fluid ounces and um this company is also vegan cruelty free paraben free um so this is nice like if you need to travel or you know a lot of us are doing like road trips or maybe um campers or things like that instead of traveling far because of the the pandemic um, and you want to be able to shave and not have to waste water, this is a nice little product for that. Okay, so moving on here. Next thing here is the Butanique uh, product, and this is a spoiler alert. I am going to do a video here, and then probably this week, with uh, one of my endless summer add-ons, or not even add-ons, endless summer goodies. There, there were like two different sales. I bought stuff in one of the sales, um, and so one of the products was the Butanique beauty uh lip and cheek balm i don't have that kit to show you i have a different one uh that i got in another box and so the one in here is peach blush which i do have this color open for you guys and then mauve lychee which i don't have so that's what peach blush looks like this product is a lot drier than i was expecting um it is if you can see here it it's pretty dry. I don't think it's real good for the lips. Like it's meant to be like a stain for the lips, but it's a much better uh, blush type thing. So you can see, you can spread it out here and it gives you kind of that natural flushed blush look. That's something I really go for. Um, and I've played around with this a bit and it is really, really pretty. So this is a nice product. Um, and it's only $5 for a duo of them. So I do like this product. I have an extra one that I will be giving away. Like I said, I got one of these in a box and then I had bought one at the same time. So definitely a nice product if you are interested in that. All right, next product here is the Derm Essentials. Um, now they did a sanitizing hand gel um, that's been in the last couple of sales and it's a decent hand gel for if you are looking for an inexpensive hand sanitizer um, It is ethyl alcohol, which is the type you want You have to be a little careful about where these are produced because uh, Some of the ones coming out of Mexico and some of the other countries are having methanol accidentally placed in it so do if you get a chance and you have a bunch of hand sanitizers go look on this i think it's the fda or cdc websites it may be the fda one of the two has like a long list of all the hand sanitizers this is not on it obviously this is made in the u.s most of the ones made in the u.s you're fine with um it is a appropriate level of um hand sanitizers and it's like that perfect mix of like liquidy but not overly liquidy so it's a good hand sanitizer has a little vitamin e and aloe so if you need an inexpensive hand sanitizer this is six dollars in the sale normally ten dollars it's really not bad price i have a foot cream and it is the same scent as the hand cream I got it two of these in my last box um, because I, if you guys don't know, I do a a box from the add-on sale where it's just uncustomized and I kind of see what happens if you don't customize your box and then I do my customized box. So I got two of these. Um, it's a very nice, this is a foot cream, but it's a hand cream. I suspect probably very similar uh, in uh, consistency and scent. So in the sale, it is $7, normally $22. It is the same Sicilian blood orange. This is what the foot cream looks like. And it's a four ounce 
uh, size. So the four ounce size is going to be bigger than this. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. So your, your bottle that you're going to get is going to be much, much bigger. This is what the lotion looks like for the foot. I imagine the hand cream is probably somewhere the same consistency and it smells like really nice oranges. Um, so I have really enjoyed this as a foot cream. Um, which I just put all over my hands as a hand cream, but that's okay. But I do like this product, um, and I feel like it would, they're probably going to be a pretty decent hand cream as well, just from the experience from the foot cream. All right, let's talk about the Chella Travel Size, uh, Travel Size uh, La Viva Eyeshadow Palace. I have the full size. I have seen the Travel Size I've never actually gotten it, but I've had other La Cella products. I, I want to warn you guys, and I don't have one to show you. The travel size is going to be teeny tiny. It's going to be about this big. It's going to be all plastic, uh, very cheap containers. So just be aware of that. And it's only $7. Now, this is the full size one for you guys to see. Um, as you can tell, I've actually not used it yet, but I'm going to just swatch out these colors for you because they're the exact same colors um, in the travel versus the full size. Obviously, in the full size, you get a mirror and you get a brush. This is not what's coming in this particular um, in this particular sale. You get 0.15 ounces of products. This is 0.35, so you get about half of each of these pan size in the travel size. So let me just show you guys what the swatches look like. Um, I have not used their products a ton. Uh, I have so many eyeshadows that I need to go through, but I'm just gonna show you what the colors look like for anyone on the fence of buying this. So they've got this really pretty kind of iridescent -y white color, and then they've got this really pretty gold, and then the other two are just kind of your mid and darker tone mattes. Um, very pretty, very nice. They they swatch beautifully so i haven't had a chance to see how they really work on the eyes but i have liked other cella products in the past so if you're interested just know that it's not going to be quite the same size as this product okay moving on we have the after spa hair towel now if it's like any other hair towel that's been in the sale um, it's probably going to be really good it looks like it's more like a turban so that it has a button in the back and then it goes over the top i'll put a picture up there um, it's seven dollars in this sale and i've had some ever other after spa products and they are really nice this doesn't look like it's a huge turban it looks like it's like a smaller turban um, but i would say if you have never gotten a hair turban definitely definitely go try it Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is the Bento Lunch Box. Uh, I have one or actually two of these. Again, spoiler alert, uh, one of my cells that I've yet to show you guys, I did buy one of these. Um, they're really nice. Uh, they do leak a little bit. Just just be warned if you use them. But for uh, me going to work, I like to like take some fruit and maybe like a little casserole and then it has a silverware and all fits together nicely and then when you're done it folds down to an even smaller um, there's a blue and a purple one in the sale uh, and I just I just think they're really handy um, for packing lunches at, at this time so if you're interested it's not a bad price I've seen them for a lot more in other sales all right let me see if I can get back to it okay pixie beauty they have the rose glow mist I just have the regular glow mist to show you guys the packaging this is 2.7 this is the size you're going to get there are varying sizes of glow mist um, and then I'm just going to show you because it should theoretically be the same except for it's with rose instead of just being same so it's a mix of oils basically and it's supposed to make you dewy and glowy so it's a very fine mist and then as you can see when I put it on my arm it just gives you kind of like this glowy glowy feel now this one just has like a natural almost citrusy smell the rose one i suspect will have more of a rose scent to it but again it's eight dollars for this size uh, you can buy this in the you know at the at target so if you don't get this in the sale it's not the end of the world but it is eight dollars normally fifteen dollars all right, next product here I did not grab, but I will talk briefly about it. Wonder Beauty has uh, exquisite eye liquid shadows. They're $8 in the sale, normally $22. I do have the one in the color Rose Garden. It's a really pretty pale pink color. Um, there's also one called Steel Street that's more of like a beigey color. These go on pretty smoothly. They dry out pretty nicely. They don't crease. If you're a big fan of liquid eyeshadows, these are solid liquid eyeshadows. 
Um, they're not super, super like lustrous shiny. They're a little bit more satin when they go on, um, but they are a nice product if you guys are interested in that. Next product here, I just wanted to show you guys the packaging um, and it's just kind of an interesting company. Um, so this is Mio Skincare. Uh, uh, they have a workout muscle motivator gel, kind of like a like a muscle gel cream and then they have a bust cream. Uh, they seem to have these really interesting products like this one I got in a uh, Oh, it was one of my boxes. I don't even remember which one, but this is a shrink to fit cellulite smoother. I don't know if they really do much, but this is what the packaging looks like. It is by the Hunt Group, which if you don't know, that group runs like Glossy Box. They run, um, uh, I'm blanking on the other one. It's a UK box. Anyway, they run those, those boxes. So uh, it is... This one is a one fluid ounce, so your your one in the sale for the let's say the muscle motivator is going to be a three point four fluid ounce, so it's going to be much bigger than this product. All right, let's move on to Bathorium. Um, they have both the Crush and the Bath Salt soaks. Uh, they are very nice pro products. Um, I have tried their uh, it's their. Uh, I'm blanking on it with the term of it. They have a really, really nice uh, bath bomb. That's what I'm trying to think of. They are huge, they smell wonderful. Um, so I am a huge fan of Bathorium as a company and their products. Uh, just really nice natural products in there. And this looks like it's a pretty decent size. It's 8.8 .8 fluid ounces. Now this is not the same brand, but I wanted to give you kind of an idea of size. So this is a Cusio Somology, another great brand if you see them in the sale and you wanna get some of their stuff. This is a 16 ounce uh, container. So your container in there is gonna be about half the size of this if you're thinking for the $9. Then they have the, the Crush one, which is uh, five different ones, and they are each, I think, about two fluid ounces. So if you calculate it out, it is a little bit better deal than getting the single one. But um, just to keep in mind, four sizes. All right, moving on. I do believe I have one to show you guys of this, is the Poopourri. Let me see if I can pull it, yeah. I have the poopourri. So there's a three different poopourris in the cell. There's a lavender peppermint. There's the royal flush, which I forget what the scent was for that. Um, I have the original citrus here just to give you guys uh, idea. This is only two fluid ounces. The one in the sale that I'm looking at right now for the peppermint lavender is four fluid ounces. So it is twice the size of this. This is going to take you a long time to go through just it just is it is a very big bottle so uh, obviously your bottle is going to be twice the size i think this stuff is really great if you live in a household with a lot of people or you need to go somewhere and you need to have one of those moments and you don't want to stink up the bathroom spray this right before you go it puts a layer on the water and then it keeps that scent from going up it doesn't work if you use it after the fact you have to spray it before but it does work really well i have personally uh taken these on trips with where you stay with other people and it works really well for that kind of thing. So if you are traveling in like a mobile home or uh, you know something like that and you don't wanna be stinky, this is a good way to, to you know make it a little better. All right, let's move on to the Wonder Beauty uh, Catch the Light Highlighting Lotion. I do not have one of these to show you guys I just wanted to say if you're super pasty pale like I am, this I have not had the best luck for. Now, it is two-sided and the sample I had really was just the lotion side and not the stick side. But if you look at the pictures, the lotion side is a little bit darker and if you're pale like me, it's just a tad bit too dark. Um, the uh, other side may be a little bit better, but I feel like if you're gonna buy this product, you really should have both sides really work well. It looks like it's a little bit better of a highlighter for someone that's more of a medium skin tone. So just keep that in mind for those folks that are pale like I am. It is $11 in the sale, normally $34. I'm a big fan of Be Wander Beauty products. I just don't particularly like this product that much. All right, let's talk about the Magi Sports Trigger uh, point ball and I have one, mine's a little bit different in the color, but this is what they look like. This has gone up considerably in the sale. Um, I think when I bought mine, it was like five bucks and then I saw it in the sale for like seven or nine dollars and now it's $11. It seems a little excessive. It's a great ball if you have plantar fasciitis 
um, or you need like a trigger point spot that you need to rub it on. Uh, I really, really like it because I get plantar fasciitis. I use it to roll out the arch of my heel when it gets really bad and it really, really helps with that. Or let's say you have a cramp. I, I get a lot of cramps in like my calves and the arch of my foot. This really helps to loosen those up. So I do like this ball. I just don't know if it's really worth $11. Like, I feel like that's a little bit excessive. So um, that's a little disappointing that that price has gone up. I have noticed in the sale that a bunch of prices have gone up. And I think they do this on add-ons that this price is a little bit better on the edit sale than the add-ons. And I'm not sure exactly the reasoning why. This was in my last, uh, my summer box. I got this as, I think, the uncustomized one. So this is a finishing spray and we're gonna just see how, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I've got a few little big drops that are doing there. Doesn't smell bad. This is $12, normally $22. I can't tell you how well it will sit on the skin, um, but it is oil-free and paraben-free for those that are interested. So that's what the size looks like. It's four fluid ounces. Okay. Moving on here, uh, let's talk about Living Proof. Uh, this one is a bust for me, unfortunately, and I've seen on the forums some people talk rave reviews about this, and I truly think this product depends on your hair type. So this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day in Shower Styler, and I am probably about this much through it. It does not work well if you do not have very curly hair. So I thought I have kind of loose waves and my daughter has ringlet curls, but they're not super tight. So I thought this would be a perfect product for us to use to allow our curls to kind of show a little bit more without having to dry. And it does not work on my type of hair and it does not work on my daughter's hair. It makes her look her hair look a little greasy. So from what I've been hearing, the people that have success with this are people who have much more tight curl patterns or coarser hair, this works really well. Anybody else, I would highly avoid this. It just doesn't seem to work. I really, really want it to work, but it just can't make this work well in our hairs. So just, just stay clear of this. If you're more of a wavy hair style, it just it isn't gonna work. All right, moving on, and my phone decided to turn off. All right, let's move on to NCLA. They have a bunch of nail polish in the sale, but I'm just gonna touch on this particular item. There it is. So NCLA has this autumn bundle and it, it looks so intriguing, but I think I already have one of the nail polishes. Um, so they have the autumn duo um, and it's $14 and it is the, oh, I guess I don't have quite the same, but I have a very similar shadow. So this is why I'm not going to get it. And it has Saturday night and dancing shoes. And this is mine. Uh, this is Hollywood. So this is a similar kind of sparkly gold uh, nail polish. I absolutely adore this nail polish. I use it a ton. The one in the sale looks like it has more of a reddish tone to the glitter, whereas mine has more of like a bluish pinkish uh, with the gold, but it's really great glitter nail polish. If you have a color that's just kind of like blah, it pops it up and makes it really good. Like right now I have it on my toes with this pale, pale, almost skin tone pink. And I have a little of this popped over it and it looks really nice. So I do like this brand. I do like this nail polish. I like their glitter form of it. I definitely recommend it. I don't think it's a bad price for two of them. Um, but it is one of those that's free of like pretty much everything. Um, and it's vegan and cruelty free. So, oh, it's the seven free is what they say. So I definitely like their nail polishes. All right, moving on here. Um, we are gonna talk about the EINYC Recovery Kit. Now, I don't have everything in this kit, but I do have at least one thing out of it, and I wanna show you guys it. Um, I got this in one of my mystery bundles. This is the Post Accession Salts. So you, in this kit, will get a hand, uh, three-in-one sanitizer, a roll-on heat rub for pain. Those kind of things are very good after you work out. Uh, cooling lip balm with zinc, so the zinc will give you a little bit of sun protection. And then the post-session salts, which are two fluid ounces. This is, just to give you a size reference, this is eight ounces. So just to give you a size reference, this is going to be two ounces of this. So it's gonna be a much smaller amount. 
Um, so don't expect this kit to be huge. Um, their, their packaging is really nice. This is in glass. I don't know if in there, looking at it, if there's salts, I don't think their salts are gonna be in a glass package. It almost looks like it's in a plastic bag. But it is $14, normally $42.50, but they're, they're nice products. All right. Um, I don't have this and I looked for them and I don't know where I put them because I'm kind of sad because I want to wear them um, and I need to just do a massive overhaul clean of my house in general and I'm sure we all do. But anyway, this is the Babel Bar Farah Ear Crawlers. Uh, I think these are so freaking adorable. Got them in one of the previous boxes. They don't crawl up my ears very well. I just the shape of my ear. So I wear them down as like dangly earrings and they look beautiful for that. Um, the folks that can pull them off and that they actually stay going up their ear, they look so pretty. They're $14, normally $34. Last time I looked, mine were wearing and tearing okay. But again, I don't know where I put them. So I don't have them today to show you guys. All right, next problem, problem, next product here. And I don't have it in here and I wish I did to show you guys. I pulled it out and put it somewhere else. Um, is the uh, Life Therapy Rounded Body Wash and Bubbling Bath. This bottle is not very big, just pre-warn you. It's about that big. It, the cap is kind of like a uh, like a bamboo top. Smells really nice, smells fresh. It is $14, but like I said, it's not a very big bottle. This is one thing that kind of like, you see 12 fluid ounces, you think it's bigger, but in person, it's actually really not that big of a bottle. It I don't know why, it just doesn't. It doesn't feel as big as it seems like it should be. So just keep that in mind, but it has a nice smell. It does have a little bit of sweet to it, but not too bad. Um, I bought it for my daughter because she loves bubble baths. All right, this product I actually got in um, Cosmox, uh, which is one of my other favorite subscriptions that I always uh, buy stuff from. But anyway, this I got in a bundle on that, but it's same product is in this sale, and this is the Cork Sickle. Uh, color block canteen this color is modern rose they also have the modern black in there it's 17 dollars normally 34.94 i like it because it has this nice rubber stop it really does keep your drinks nice and cold um and surprisingly even though it's pretty narrow at the top it you can get ice in there pretty easily and then you do have to hand wash it that's the only bad thing i have about it but i do like this and if you want a decent like nice metal canister type uh, canteen to take warm or hot uh, or cold drinks to work or wherever this works really well I usually take cold drinks in it and it'll last me a full 8 to 12 hours and my stuff my ice will still be frozen in there so definitely worth it all right uh, next product is the uh, Tarte double duty let me show you guys this it is a lot smaller um, than you think it is. So this is the Double Duty Dream Big Eyeshadow Palette. This is how big it is. It's little, little. Um, it's a great little palette. I like tight tart eyeshadows and of the two in the sale, um, I don't have the other one unfortunately, but I do have this one. It smells like most tart eyeshadows, which has this kind of almost baked cookie smell. It smells really good. These are what the colors actually look like. And I'll swatch these out real quick for you guys, just so that you can, um, uh, can get a feel for it, but this is not a very big palette. Just, just FYI, because yeah, it just isn't. Like I, it looks bigger in the sale. Um, so I got this in a Ipsy a while back. Uh, I haven't reached for a bunch, but when I have used it, it's been very nice. It lays and and uh, works like pretty much any other Tarte palette, um, and yeah, that's all I can say. So this is what it looks like. The, the colors are really pretty. So you've got more of a coppery pinky tone. So if that's your thing, this palette is definitely good. They've got like this black with sparkles in there. Um, and then they have a nice uh, dark brown, which I tend to use a lot. But yeah, these are really pretty. There's a transition shade you can't really see on my arm very well. But this is, this is a great little palette if you like these tones. And like I said, it lays really nicely. It is like your typical uh, Tarte tar shadows. So that's what it looks like colors are not translating the best on my thing here but in the sale this is uh $17 normally $30 and in this picture it definitely looks like it's more bright pink and purple don't be mistaken by that it's definitely more coppery this one that looks purple you can see is almost an eggplant color and then this one that looks bright pink it's a copper color so just just to help you guys decide if you want that one 
All right, next product here is the Sip and Swell. Um, there's two different ones in there. There's a line and I forget what the other name one is. I just want to talk about this briefly. I do not have these products. These are obviously the full size ones. Um, and I have one of the smaller Sip and Swells. So the one in the sale is a 17 ounce uh, bottle. And this is my little version of it's 15 ounce. So it's gonna be a little bit different on the base, but the neck of these bottles are fairly similar and they just drive me absolutely bonkers. So if you can see, I know I showed the Corcacel earlier and it's a small thing, but this one for some reason is just small enough that ice is dang near impossible to get through just to show you guys the difference. So if I had to buy between the two, even though the bottles themselves are prettier for sip and swell the opening is bigger on the cork sill and that little bit of difference makes a huge difference in cleaning them getting ice in them and things like that so i'm not a big fan of the swell bottles in general just i know it's an unpopular opinion i just don't like them as much i find they just don't work quite as well um so but they're really cute patterns it is very tempting other than that all right, let's talk about Luxie Face. Uh, there is, this has been in the cell for a few times, and um, this is a really good brand. If you don't have makeup brushes, I do highly recommend it out of all the makeup brushes in here. If you need a face brush, I have a couple examples of Luxie brushes. I have a lot of different Luxie brushes. I don't have this particular set, but I do have some of the brushes from this set, and I just wanna show you guys kind of generally what their brushes look like. Now, this one is a slightly different handle because this is a different uh, version of Luxie, but it is their foundation brush, which is kind of what it looks like. And then you can see like this is a highlighter brush, and you've got a couple other brushes. Their brushes are really nice. Mine are obviously dirty and need to be washed. But in this, you're gonna get a large powder brush, a blush brush, um, a foundation brush, which I, and then a large fluff brush. And right here, I don't actually legitimately have any of those types of brushes in here, but I do highly recommend them. It's $17 normally, $45, and those brushes are worth that price. That is a good price for them. All right, let's talk about some Trustique products. I'm just gonna show you the packaging of some Trustique products. Um, they have a couple different Tristique products in here. They have the Tristique Mini Eye Set. I have uh, just a little bit of the Tristique. These are like little mini lip glosses, but the exterior packaging is kind of across the board the same for Tristique products. Um, I have their, I think their foundation, or not their foundation, a concealer, and a couple other things in here. But what they generally look like is they generally look like a little pencil, and then when you open them up, they have whatever product. So this is a lip product. Um, they have some eye essentials in there. So these, the mini size is gonna look like this. They have a full size set where it looks about twice the size of these. But if you are thinking for the mini set, this is gonna be the size for it. Okay, let's talk about Living Proof. Um, there is the Nourishing Style Cream. I do not have my example here. I've had little like samples of it. It's a good styling cream. Um, it is $19 in the sale, normally $38. I do think it's a good product. It's eight fluid ounces, so that's not bad for that product. Um, and then the other product is the No Frizz Intense Moisture Mask. I have not tried that, but again, Living Proof is a decent brand, so I don't think it's an unreasonable one. All right, let's talk about the Tarte C Drink and H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. I have gotten this and used this. I'm not a huge fan of this product. Some people absolutely love it, and there's a couple reasons I don't love it. The first reason I don't love it is it is a gel-based moisturizer, and so that is a big thing that I'm not a fan of. That doesn't mean a gel moisturizer is a bad product. It just is one that I don't like how it sits on my skin. I like more of a cream moisturizer. If you like a gel moisturizer, it's a good gel moisturizer. The only other bad thing in it, and it's only bad if you're sensitive to it, is it does have lavender oil in it. I am not particularly sensitive to lavender oil, but some people are. Um, it has a very strong lavender scent. I like that scent, but again, if you're sensitive to it, you might have an issue with it. Um, otherwise, it has pretty decent stuff in there. It has dimethicone in there. Again, if that's something you wanna avoid, definitely avoid that, but that's gonna help kind of smooth out the appearance of your skin. Um, and then it also has glycerin, which brings moisture to your skin. So that product's in there for $19, normally $39. 
Okay, let's move on to Summer and Rose uh, Navy Diamond Tote. I have my one that I've used and loved. I also have a second one that I was going to give away to a family member that I got in a bag recently. It's a very pretty tote. The exterior of mine is wearing and tearing okay. Um, I use this a ton now. Unfortunately, mine had some defects on the interior. Oh no, this isn't. This is my new one. I think I gave. I got rid of my defective one. That's what it was. So I had a defective one that was all torn on the inside, and I've written this in previous videos. Um, this is. I got a second one in a box or a sale or something, and so I. I ended up using this the other day. Oh no, this is my defective one. I'm so confused now. Hold on. Yeah, no, no, this is my defective one. Sorry, I haven't opened up the new one. I was gonna give my new one away. So mine is defective. Uh, it had a hole when I first got it and then the interior is kind of pulled and the lining is just kind of falling apart. That being said, except for the lining kind of just falling apart on the inside of mine, and that probably is just my bag. The exterior is doing fantastically. It's a really cute bag. I like to take it when we do outdoorsy stuff. And it, like I said, it's the exterior looks great. I use this a ton for a long time. So I do think it's a nice bag, um, and not everybody else has had that experience with it. I feel like it's a little bit more expensive in the sale than previous. It's $21, normally $42. I don't know if I'd spend 20 some odd dollars for it, but it's not a bad bag. Okay. Ahava. This is one of my more favorite creams. And let me find. Okay, so this is not the exact same cream that I have, but I adore Ahava's face creams. This is the one I'm currently using. This is the Time to Hydrate. Mine is just the Essential Day Moisturizer. This one in the sale is the Night Replenishing Moisturizer. I am actually almost done with it. This is by far one of the best moisturizers I have ever used. It moisturizes my skin without making it feel uh, like oily. It, it seeps in really nicely and I don't get breakouts with it. So I love this moisturizer. It smells really nicely. This is what your packaging is going to look like. This is 1.7 fluid ounces and a little bit of this goes a long way. So it takes you a long time to go through it. So yes, definitely a great one. If I didn't already have a backup one and other moisturizers on backup that I need to use, I would totally buy more of this. Uh, but cannot recommend this moisturizer enough, honestly. All right, we have got the Tarte Pro uh, to Pro Glow uh, Highlight and Contour. So I've had this one for ages. I'll be honest, I don't use it that often. This is what it looks like. Um, so it does have a cream contour, which is just a tad bit too dark for me. And then it has highlighters and um, it does have like this shape called Sculpt for a bronzer, which is again, just a little bit too dark for me, but not horrible. I do like the highlighter strobe. The other ones are just a little dark. So it's is an okay highlighting palette if you are a little bit darker skin than I am. So if you're super fair, this is only maybe two of these shades will work for you and otherwise it's too dark. It smells good like every other Tarte palette. It wears nicely. It is the um, tardiest uh, formula, which is really, really good. Uh, so, you know, it is a solid product. I still keep it around because I use it occasionally, but would I buy this if you're pasty like me? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't. There are better highlighter palettes for someone who are lighter and fairer skin. All right, so moving on to the next product here. Um, I don't have this specific type of primer, but I wanted to show you a similar primer. I just got this in one of my boxes, so I can't tell you how great it is, but uh, this is the Dr. Brandt. So the one in the sale is the Skin Care Pores No More uh, Refining Primer. This is the size of the, this is a luminizing primer, and it is one fluid ounce, so it's going to be this size. Um, I have okay luck with Dr. Brandt products. Uh, in the sale, it is $21.00. Normally it is $45. So, all right, moving on. Um, we have a couple of Vaunt skincare products. I do have the uh, Perfect Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer Touch, uh, which is this one here. So in the sale, it's $24. Uh, normally $122. It's 1.1 fluid ounces. So guys, this is the size of what you're going to get. And let me just show you a little bit. I actually have never opened this up, so we'll open this up today. I have so many primers, and since I haven't been wearing make makeup, I haven't been using my primers that much. Some people have just raved about this primer, so I thought I would pull it out and show you guys. It is kind of watery. 
it doesn't have much of a smell, and then it goes in really, really cleanly. So it doesn't leave a layer. A little tacky, but not like crazy tacky. Oh, and then it dries down pretty good. So if that is your kind of um, primer, then you're gonna like that. Like it's a very, very smoothing, clean, feeling non-tacky primer. Actually, I think I'm gonna like this primer just playing with it, but this is your size of your primer. It's itty bitty 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 bitty, okay? Um, Verso Botanics is in the sale and I just got one of their uh, products recently and I just wanted to show you their packaging. I can't say much beyond it, um, but this is the uh, eye cream that I have and then in the sale I'm seeing that they have a super uh, retinol eye serum. Um, and this is a company that is supposed to be cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free, kind of like all the different things, vegan. It is made in Sweden. Um, so this packaging size is 0.67 fluid ounces. So this is a little bit smaller. The one in the sale is one fluid ounce. Um, and so that's $27. So that's all I can really comment on it. If you want to see what the packaging looks like, I haven't had a chance to really use that brand yet. All right, guys, next product here is Habanera Marinella Rosewood and Lindsay uh, Imperial Jade Body Oil. I got this in a mystery bundle. I have not used it a ton um, just because I don't use body oils a lot. It doesn't have a horrible smell. I remember just having kind of an earthy smell, but this is what it looks like. Um, so this is really good for like baths if you want to use it there. I'm not big on putting body oils on me. Uh, but yeah, baths or on your feet, that kind of thing are where it's handy. And uh, I really like this brand in general. I like, uh, they have a, like a body wash scrub with oil in there. That's really, really nice. Um, anyway, this is four fluid ounces. In the sale, it's $20, normally $68. And it is made in the U.S. Okay, next problem here is the, um, let's see looking on here. The Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. Now I only have a sample to show you guys, but Sunday Riley is generally a pretty good brand that has a good cult following. Um, and I thought I would show you guys the consistency of this. Obviously this is just a sample. Um, it is $32 in the sale. It has a very clean scent. And so let me show you guys what the product looks like. And my hands are dirty here. So let me just wipe this off. Okay, let me show you guys here. So this is what the product looks like. And then I'm just gonna put it on my arm here. It is, um, it's kind of got a sticky feel to it. It reminds me of uh, like a gel type, and I think it's supposed to be a gel type um, lotion. So if you're a fan of those, I'm not a huge fan of a gel type. Again, it's a little sticky feeling. So that is gonna uh, give you a sticky feeling on the end of it. But anyway, it doesn't have much of a smell. I feel like this might go well under uh, like makeup, but yeah. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> Not a big fan of the consistency of it, but other than that, it's it's okay. All right, we have a Murad uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream, and I have some Murad products in here. If I can find it, maybe, 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 maybe. I have the eye cream, um, and this brand is, uh, Murad's okay. I have hit or miss with it. I just wanted to show you generally kind of what their packaging looks like. This is what the eye packaging looks like. It's the same um, line, so this is the, uh, the packaging is going to be bigger for the night cream. Um, so the eye cream here is, I believe, let's see, how many fluid ounces? They should say somewhere on here. Apparently they don't. This... This is half a fluid ounce and the uh, the cream for the face is going to be 1.7. So you're going to get probably three times amount of here, but just, just so you know for packaging, I didn't have that particular one to show you guys. All right, moving on here. I don't have this, but I just wanted to talk about this because this is uh, a couple of these different products are in the sale and I thought it'd be interesting to touch on. This is the Squeaka Smart Wash Multifunctional UV Stereolizer, normally $39, or normally $119, $39 in the sale. Yes, these products really do cost that much. I have one from Home Medics. That's a little um, container that I put my phone in to UV sterilize after work. They work really nicely. They do kill off coronavirus and 
other bacteria and viruses. So um, this one looks like it has like a little compartment you open up and you can put your phone in there. I don't know how this particular one works, but it is definitely a decent price. I know you can go on Amazon and find them, but uh, if you're looking, this is this looks like your general normal one. The handheld one I think would be a little bit more difficult to use and then they have a bigger room one which again you have to be a little bit more careful on those. I like the ones that are in like a box container basically so you can put your stuff in there, close it off, it UV sterilizes and you don't have to worry about getting exposed to the UV light which is not good. Okay. All right, let's talk about the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Kate Exfolicate. This is a fan favorite. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce, so it's a little bit smaller than the one in the sale, which is two fluid ounces. It's $44 in the sale, normally $85. Yes, that is a bit pricey, but it is well worth it. Um, it smells like pumpkin spice. It is amazing. If you have sensitive skin like I do, you really only need to leave this on for maybe a minute and then wash it off up to two minutes. I can't leave it on my face for two minutes. A minute is enough, but then my skin feels amazing afterwards. Um, but yeah, it's great. Like I love the fact that it is, works so quickly as an exfoliating. You don't have to leave it on for a long period of time. That's a huge perk for me. And I know anyone else who's busy, that's probably a huge perk. So definitely a fan of that. All right, let's talk about the Fat Boy Daily Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. I had a smaller version of this that I recently finished up. I put it in my empties video. I'll paste it up there for you guys. Um, it is a fantastic shampoo and conditioner. I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, the uh, shampoo smells very clean. The uh, conditioner has kind of like a tingling mint smell to it. It did a really nice job. Like I'm really, really, really happy. I'm actually probably going to buy the bigger version of it just because I really, really enjoyed this product. It is $49 for the duo, but that's huge. It's 32.5 fluid ounces for each one. That's massive, um, but it is a good, good uh, shampoo. I do like it actually better than like the R and Co shampoos. Shampoos, if if um, if I'm being honest. All right, let's talk about the Sunday Riley CEO 15%. Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I got this recently in one of my boxes, so I have not had a chance to use it. Um, it's $59, normally $122. Now, uh, let's talk about vitamin C in general. That's a decent percentage. Um, and I'm trying to see if they say what type of percentage of vitamin C it has or what type. And it doesn't, unfortunately. I'd have to go back and look. Um, Abscorbate. So this is the type that won't go into your skin as easily as some others. Uh, but it is in a pump bottle, so that keeps it protected from the air. It is in a container that is sealed off from the light, so this is all good for storage of this. And then um, I'm just going to show you guys what this product looks like. So this is what it is. It's just a cream, and it doesn't have much of a smell. So, And as a cream, it goes in really nicely. So I'd say this is a rock-solid vitamin C product for those that are interested. Um, and you like Sunday Riley, this is this is a good product. This is 1.7 fluid ounces in the sale. Mine is only 0.5 fluid ounces. So you're gonna get three times the amount in the sale than this size. So just to gauge it, it's gonna be a much bigger bottle. Um, and it'll take you a long time to go through, through something like that. All right, moving on here. We got the PMD, PMD Beauty Clean Pro or Q brush. Um, I have it in the same color. So it's rose quartz, I believe. I don't think it says it what color mine is. But anyway, let me just show you guys what it is. This is what it looks like. It is like any other cleansing sonic type brush. It works really nicely. I gave an extra one to my cousin who's been using it. She really enjoys it. Um, battery operated uh, is the type I have. The one in here is the charging cord. So that makes it a little bit more pricey. It's $99. But it is... It is a nice, nice product. So um, yeah, if you haven't gotten a bazillion of these in previous like boxes and stuff like I have, then I would highly recommend it. I feel like I've gotten two or three of these already. So, all right, moving on. Uh, light stem for wrinkles. I know you guys want me to comment on this one. I have yet to use mine. Just haven't. I haven't gotten around to it, so I can't say much. It's 139 in the cell, uh, normally 249. I will get back to you guys one day when I actually try this product. But for now, just be warned, products that are electronics are non-returnable in the sale. So I would be a little hesitant to purchase some of these products that are more expensive that are electronics. Just FYI. Okay, let's talk about the Corduroy Full... So 
oversized carry corduroy bean bag I did and I'll try to remember to post up above here the link to when I first got my bean bag chair this was a couple years ago um, it is a fantastic chair it is totally worth the price it comes directly shipped from the company um, and it is a bean bag that then you can pull out and make into a bed we've used it for both it is great I love it um, it's very versatile so uh, they have a couple different colors we have the gray one uh, but if you need something like this this is a nice product it is a good price for it. it's normally $2.79 I do recommend it so definitely definitely a good product um, I did not grab them to show you guys in here but the Ahava natural dead sea salt uh, in I believe this one's in sea salt I've had the lavender ones nice nice bath salts they're only five dollars in the sale normally eleven dollars all right, let's move on to the Attitude Bamboo Lysol Eye Mask. This is just your standard plain eye mask. It is literally like the type you used to get on planes for free if you flew in first class. There's nothing special about it. I don't personally use anything like this when I sleep past nights. There are much better masks out there. I don't think it's worth the $5 and it's normally $15. So for me, I would not recommend it. There are better eye masks. It's not adjustable. It's got like elastic on the back. I just don't think it's it's really worth the price. All right, let's talk about the Nails Ink London Thirsty Hands. I have yet to try mine, but I got this in a previous box. Just to show you guys, it is a duo. So there's only two of them in here. It's $5. And um, yeah, that's what they look like. That's all I got for you. Oh, I forgot to grab these for you guys, but that's okay. Okay, let's talk about the, before we get to the thing I forgot to grab, the Busy Beauty Gigantic Biodegradable Bio Wipes. I have the uh, Instant Fresh Body Wipes that I've been using. These actually work really nicely. So if you need, like you work, so I work in healthcare, so if I get like good or dirty, these are nice to kind of wipe down real quick, or if you go on a trip, they're handy. Um, it looks like in here, it's an eight pack in a bag that you rip open. And I don't know if it's resealable. Hopefully it is. The one I got was a 10 wipe pack. And mine were like individual wipes like this. So I don't know how this big one is different. These are just like normal size wipes, which are plenty size. So the gigantic ones probably are much, much larger. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know much past that. That These are good. I like this brand. I think they're handy. I think it's worthwhile trying if that's something you're interested in. So I forgot to grab the Sheep and to Chic and Tonic Silicone Straws and Brush Cleaner. Um, these are little silicone straws that come with a little cleaner and then there's like a little case you can put them in. Super cute. Um, I don't use it that often, unfortunately. Like we just don't use straws in our house. We use reusable straw cups if we use straws. Um, and they're great for traveling. We haven't really traveled, but I do have them there for when we do decide to travel and everything. They're cute if you like them. Everybody I know that has used them has really loved them. Um, and and it, like I said, it comes with a little case and a little straws. They're adorable. Definitely not a bad product. All right, moving on to the Coors has a couple shower gels. Uh, they have a jasmine one uh, as well as a bamboo one that's a little bit bigger and I forgot what the third one is. I have and I basically used up um, this one. I think I have one more use out of it. The jasmine one and this is the size of it. It's 8.4 fluid ounces. It took me about two weeks to go through this. Um, it smells really good. It's a lot more hydrating than I thought it would be. It is definitely a very strong perfumey smell of jasmine. So if you're not a big perfumey fan, then this may not be the scent for you, but it is a solid, normal, nice shower gel. All right, let's talk about the Grace and Stella Blackhead Removal Masks. Um, I have a small version of mine. Mine is this one. I got a sample and like an Ipsy. It's okay. It's just like your typical uh, mask. So mine is only one fluid ounce. The cell is going to be four fluid ounces. So it's going to be four times the size. It's $7. Um, Grace and Stella makes decent masks. Uh, you know, for the price, I don't think it's a bad mask. It is what it is. So it's one of those types you just pull off. I'm not a huge fan of that type. But if you like that type, it's a de decent mask. All right, let's talk about the Grace and Stella bath balm. Someone asked me about this in one of my other videos if I was gonna talk about these. I've gotten these a lot. Um, I like these, but with a caveat. <laughs> these are not the most amazing bath bombs in the world. I've gotten a lot of these. We go through these a lot. Um, and this is what they look like. They smell really good. They make the water a really pretty color. They are not big on fizzing and they tend to sink to the bottom. So if you want a bath bomb that really fizzes and bubbles, this is not your bath bomb. If you want the one that just makes the water smell nice and the color, 
This is your bath bomb. I really like this for my daughter because they smell good. Um, and I don't know if these are, yeah, these are the same, same set. So the picture in here is an old packaging. This is what the new packaging looks like. There's red rose, fig and white peach, French lavender, and then the last one in here is a grapefruit and mandarin. They all smell fantastic. That being said, these are normally $5 in the sale. And for $5, I think these are fantastic. For this sale, they've been upped to $7. I think that's a bit of a ripoff. They're okay for $7. I'm not gonna go out and restock on anymore for $7. I think that they're worth the $5, normally you know, $16 for this. So I am a little sad that they upped the price on this. Do I like these? Yes. Are these the best ones? No. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have the Pixie Lash Boost Mascara, and I just um, wanted to show you generally. I don't have the exact same type, but this is the P uh, Pixie packaging. Again, you can buy this at Target. This I got in a beauty box, um, and it is $8 normally. Uh, $15 in there. Okay, moving on here to the R & Company Valley Dry Shampoo. I have a small version of it, which again, this is one of those where I didn't really look at the size and make sure you pay attention to the sizes when you buy these things. So this is only 1.6 fluid ounces. The one in the sale here is 6.3 ounces for $9. This is, a, this is a solid dry shampoo. It doesn't leave a big film. It doesn't have a huge, bad, nasty, like over perfumey smell. It's a solid dry shampoo. I would definitely recommend this shampoo. I like dry shampoos in general. All right, let's talk about the True Clearly uh, Acne Patches. Um, I have not tried this particular brand, but I'm a big fan of acne patches in general. These are 72 patches for $9. It's a really good price. That's a lot of patches. It's like way more than you get in the Hero patches and some of the other. All it is is hydrocolloid. So this should work like the Hero patches, like pretty much every other brand of patches that you can get your hands on. Um, and basically when you already have a white head, it sucks the, uh, you know, like the, the grease and everything out of the white head and makes it go away. So if you've never tried these, this is a really 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 great price um it's paraben free phthalate free glu gluten free and vegan free but yeah definitely this one looks good it also looks like they have two different sizes which is handy so you can have the smaller and the bigger size so uh, i am curious they have other acne products by this brand um but i haven't tried them okay moving on i didn't bring them in here to show you guys but the latouise uh Tweezers, I have a, a set of them. They have like three different colors. I actually really like these tweezers. I didn't know how I was gonna feel. They come in a little case, which is nice, so I am less likely to lose my tweezers. It has like a little mirror on there, and then there's a little light that you press on the tweezers. They actually work really nicely. I would highly recommend them. Okay, let's talk about the Summer and Rose Angela uh, case. This is not the same brand, but this is the same basic dimensions and look to it. So it's a vegan leather. Um, and the, this is a different brand. I got in a, like a cause box or anything, but basically your, uh, box is going to be roughly about this size. And then, um, inside it, you're going to have like a thing that has where you can organize jewelry. The one in the sale looks like it has a flippable center with a mirror, and then you can put the jewelry on the other side. Um, so it looks a little bit more versatile and it is a really pretty gold pattern. So if you don't have like a little box like that, I think this is a really nice one. Uh, for the price. I think it's a good good one. All right, let's talk about the it works uh, Sleep spray the deep pillow spray. I'm a big fan of this. We have a lot of these at our house This is $14 in the sale normally $29 definitely a good thing. I find that it helps me relax and go to sleep um, Some people don't like it if you don't like lavender you won't like it But I do really enjoy this product and it is 2.5 fluid ounces. So this is the size of the product all right, let's talk about the West Elm Indigo tie-dye bowls. These are like the thing in the sale that everybody's talking about on the forums that they cannot get their hands on. I bought these in a previous box or sale or something. They're super cute, and I just want to give you guys the indication of the size. So if you are have them or you're not sure if you want to keep them, just so you can tell what the size is. So this is the biggest bowl, and this is what it looks like inside. So it's tie-dyed. 
This is the medium size bowl here, okay? And then inside again, it's that tie-dyed. And then this is what the smallest bowl looks like there. So I really like these bowls, They're very hefty. They're well, well done. Some people will use them. I saw someone make like a planter for cactus out of them. I use them for different like condiments and stuff when I'm serving things in the house. So they're definitely cute. They're $14 normally, $39 in this sale. Okay guys, so that is it. Probably by the time I edit this video, put everything, it'll just be shy of an hour. Um, like I said, I will try to put timestamps below and then shortly thereafter, after this video, I'll try to put up the customizing video. So there'll be a lot of videos for you guys. This sale is going on for select or people that have a year long uh, thing all the way through today because I'm not going to get this video posted up till the 5th and then it'll reopen I believe somewhere around the 14th for pretty much everybody else um, and same with customization so if you are not an annual and you don't buy your whole year subscription don't worry the sale hasn't happened you've got like a week before customization and all that open up so anyway guys thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you later bye